Welcome to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcasts. Today we'll be talking about smart villages and how they're thinking outside the box to find innovative solutions to the challenges they face. Want to know more? Stay with us. Rural areas can be beautiful and relaxing, perfect for a weekend away or a getaway holiday. That's at least what 80% of Europeans think. But what about the other 20%? What about the locals? The 93 million Europeans who live in rural areas must confront a number of important challenges such as population ageing, lack of infrastructure, public transportation, education and medical services, lack of job opportunities, low incomes, a digital gap, and we could go on and on. But despite these challenges, rural areas offer many opportunities. They provide us with food and environmental resources. They offer an alternative to overcrowded cities and help us fight climate change. Indeed. And as more and more citizens begin to value quality of life above other considerations such as money or career development, their pull factor is increasing. So what is this concept of smart villages about? Let's listen to the coordinator of smart villages within the European Network for Rural Development, Enrique Nieto. Smart villages are villages that apply innovative solutions to specific challenges and opportunities at the local level. It can be about digitalization, the energy transition, the bioeconomy, about tourism or basic services, among others. Smart villages forge alliances and cooperate with other villages, cities and people outside their own territory that can bring added value and knowledge. So, it's all about working together and using the many possibilities offered by digital technologies to improve the quality of life in rural areas and ensure a better use of resources. So, how did this concept develop? Stay with us. Well, the concept is not a new one. The EU evoked it in 2016 when it approved the Cork Declaration for a Better Life in Rural Areas And one year later, the EU action for smart villages put more flesh on the bones of this vision. A vision that was actively supported by the European Parliament, which allocated over 3 million euros to support the development of 10 smart villages and identify best practices for the future. And the smart village concept is gaining traction on the rural development agenda, coinciding with the ongoing reform of the common agricultural policy – a simpler and more efficient policy that incorporates the sustainable ambitions of the European Green Deal. So, let's have a closer look at some of these projects. The Urbadea project between France and Spain allows 12 cross-border partners to join forces to encourage cycling in order to cut emissions, decongest traffic and improve public health and at the same time creates new opportunities for local companies linked to sustainable mobility, sustainable tourism and the green economy. Let's listen to its project manager, Sabine Echeverry. One of Edebidia's challenges was to develop mobility on a daily basis, and the challenge was also to offer residents and tourists who come to our region an alternative to car travel by bicycle. So now, neighbouring villages in France and Spain have a new way to connect with each other. This is Mayetena Escutaru from the government of the Navarra region in Spain. We now have 67 more kilometres in Navarra linked not only to a simple travel, but to a route that connects us between regions, between countries and beyond. And now from the southwest to the northeast. As part of its Smart City initiative, the Polish city of Rzeszow secured EU funding to build a unique wireless network that brings high speed broadband to the entire city and has reduced telecommunications operating costs by 60%. This project is about digitalization, but smart cities are finding many more innovative solutions in the fields of renewable energy, mobility, social innovation, education, health, social care, and culture, among others and the EU is supporting them in implementing their vision and financing it. Through funds such as the European Agricultural Fund for Rural Development, the LEADER initiative, EU cohesion programmes, the Horizon 2020 programme and many others. So, what's the future for smart villages?
Well, for smart villages to multiply in the years to come, a number of challenges need to be tackled, such as increasing digital skills and infrastructure in rural communities, better access to funding and raising awareness about the concept of smart villages. The experience of smart village projects so far shows the clear benefits of this approach, but much will depend on the outcome of the ongoing strategic planning exercise linked to the reform of the common agricultural policy and how member states respond to the recommendations made by the European Commission. That's right. But the future success of smart villages will also depend on how Europe responds to a range of economic, social and environmental issues such as an ageing population and climate change. So, time will tell. This is a European Parliamentary Research Service podcast. Thanks for listening.